Yeah, so he approved northeast. Northeast departure approved. Okay. Sometimes they'll say maintain runway heading yeah, until otherwise said. Okay. okay. Airspeed live. Yeah, no like pressure's good. You need a little bit of flight dog to the left. I know, I saw you looking. It's amazing how fast that goes. So, um, I'm going to try and put it down by this uh, red barn over here on the left. Can't see the grain, though. Okay. Can't see if it's going north. Or well, there's they're just right next to I-5, there was a nice little north and south strip. Um, but if you pick it, I want you to see me get to it. So, first, I want to see us get to it. And so, I'm not worried about doing the slip because I'm not trying to... Correct. Yeah, start turning is the biggest thing. Um because you want to start turning towards the direction. A lot of people, they call out this spot and they continue heading southbound or northbound or wherever. I'm like, just turn to the damn thing. Yeah, <laughs> you, uh, you need to get there. The other thing too, which is fine that you picked a field, there's Daniel's field right there. It's an actual sure. airport. Yeah, see, I didn't know totally that. Totally fine, that was farther out. So when you pick a field, sometimes it's hard to see airports like that. Yeah, but again, <laughs> you know, the. If you don't know where it's at and you're in an unfamiliar area, the field is what it is. I'm gonna put it in flaps. Okay. So, are you landing just that huge field right there in front of the barn? Yep. Okay. Uh, but pa right past the barn. Yeah, the north and south zone. So, you got trees on that other end, so you need to make sure you stop. Are you high or low right now? I'm real high. Okay, so, you did add in flaps, but it's only one notch. I would know once you put them in, they're in. So, go ahead and slip it just a little bit here. Okay, so, whichever way. If you go right Alon, left rudder. Push that nose down. Push that, there you go. Whew. Push that nose down. Yeah, so see how quick you come down? Yep. So keep it coming down, keep it coming down. Okay. Okay, so now I, I get out of that slip, add in the flaps to slow you down. And we're still hot. Yeah, but we got plenty, we got plenty of, of space. Yeah. So third notch flaps, slow you down. Good. We're not going to land, obviously, but no. we're going to get pretty damn low. Yeah. I'm probably going to scare some farmers here. So now <laughs> I, I physically, like, you're not looking for a smooth landing, obviously, but you, uh, you put it, you try put it down to the ground. Yeah. Full power, let's go around. Cool. Cool. Okay, so. Carpet on. Yep. Carpet. Fuel pump on. Uh, yeah, might as well. All right. And, and power to idle. Power to idle. Okay. Now push that nose over forward first. Or, yeah. Push the nose forward first. There you go. Oh, first. Well, if you can do it simultaneously, do it simultaneously. So aim for, yeah, something down there. And you can really, if you're pushing, uh, which rudder are you pushing? Full left, full left rudder. Full left rudder. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And just use the Alon to maintain that directional control. But the biggest thing is, yeah, I want to see airspeed of 100 or 110. Uh, yeah, you hope so. All right. Look at that VSI. Wow. We're, we're pegged right now. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So it's just aerodynamics kind of helping you get down like that. Yeah, that's it? a great uh, technique to yeah. know. So go ahead. Uh, well, we, we did veer a little bit to the left of where yeah, a little yeah, bit's fine. I just, I don't want to see you doing, you know, crazy. But what if you had an end of failure right now? Sorry? What if you had an end of failure right now? I would head for this field right in front of us, except for there's power lines, so... so it's well, car feed on, fuel pump on. No, 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 don't. You reached the flaps too early. Okay, switch tanks. Okay, switch tanks. Okay, now field at 75 knots. Now it's, it's I'm pushing you right here. So which field are you going to? Right in front of us. Okay. So see how you added in flaps already in. Oh, so I slip. can't do that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. No, uh, so this I would, one's, I would overshoot one's, it. Yeah. This one, so if you were to overshoot this one, the general rule in the check right is if you pick a field, you're going to land on it. But, yeah. Uh, because a lot of people, they go, oh, not this one, next one, next one, and then they crash. Yeah. So you overshot this one, what would you do now? I would, uh, I would go for this field right here. Okay, so what is in front of you in that field? Power lines. Yeah. I see him. I'm going to overshoot him. And your ground speed is going to be higher or lower right now? 
My ground speed is going to be... Uh, it's a lot higher because we're landing with the tailwind, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I would basically almost scrape these power lines. Yeah, now you can start Mike, adding flaps portal. to slow you down. Direct the portal. Full flaps, full flaps. Full flaps, yeah. Because you got to slow down. Yeah. yeah, because there's a little ravine and stuff there. I would probably take it this way. Yeah, but then okay. there's bumps up ahead. Full power. See, this is a type of fun flying too. When you get, uh, you know, a little more experience and stuff, you can, you just kind of fly along the ground here. Yeah, and you know, this doesn't look like it's. I mean, it's obviously east to west, but I feel like it would still be fairly comfortable to land on, as opposed to maybe it would. You might skip a little bit, but you know, you took the best of the situation and you had an engine failure at like 1500 feet. Yeah, so or I simulated one for you at 1500 feet. Sure. Yeah, and car beat off. Alright, I thought that was off already. Yeah. So, yeah, you took the best of the situation there. What you kind of maybe could have done is look left and right and saw if maybe you could make a turn. That's true. At the same time... I didn't even look right at all. Well, yeah, that's fine, but at the same time, the you made a decision. Five, five, the five, instructor five, or the examiner five, might ask, five, why are you landing with the tailwind? Five, because five, that's the best five, situation, five, that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Nice job. It's actually not as bumpy as I thought. No, not too bad. Not too bad. So, 70 knots here. Give it a little more. Just a little bit. So just aim that center line. As you start getting closer, start slowly bringing that power back. Just slowly. Oh. Aim, aim for that center line. But not. Well, let's see how far we off in the center line. Way off. One little gust of wind will take us off the runway here. Okay. So, okay. Uh, get full power. Full power. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that another shot. Yeah. Smoothly just get back onto that center line. Gotcha. There you go. Okay. And we're ready to fly. Yeah, I was, uh, no, was getting with, there was a it. lot of abnormal stuff that went on there. It's coming yeah. in. But you did a good job of, you know, you gotta adjust for it. Like I said, uh, you know, flying is full of shit that gets thrown at you that <laughs> yeah. is not normal. Yeah. Or it's it's yeah out of the norm of what you're doing. So okay. um, just embrace it. Think outside of the box. Cool. So what you do here is aim for that center line. So if you need to crab a little bit, push right, that so way. I got my left rudder depressed right now. Yeah. About 70 knots. Coming in. Gonna add a little more power. Okay. Not too much here, because you're getting closer to the wrong way. But we do have a little crosswind today. Woo. So, what we're, we're going to do is power to that center line. Yeah, reduce right. the power to here. So now, we're going to try right rudder to maintain center line, and a little bit of left aileron right here. Just to maintain right. center line. So that one, you can really feel you stop it, but you see how